Hey, welcome to video number 30. We are beginning um, chapter 11 uh, in Max Lucado's book, uh, You'll Get Through This, and um, I think this is like our 30th video on this series, but we are uh, beginning uh, a new chapter and it's on revenge, and there are so many quotes about revenge. Um, maybe we have plots that we may have concocted to exact revenge on somebody. Um, initially, paybacks feel really good. Um, they feel justified and we feel vindicated. Um, it is a rush, um, initially a rush to get even, and I remember that mindset a lot because my brother and I struggled a lot with sibling rivalry. Um, Lucado tells the story of Spite House from 1882 uh, where neighbors refused to sh sell their really skinny lots so that someone else could uh, build um, a big high rise and this guy refused to sell a skinny lot because he thought the offer was a low ball offer. Um, instead the guy built a too skinny house on the property thwarting the neighbor the neighbor's plans to build an apartment building and he lived there a lonely lonely man and Lucado shares uh, we're on page 12 it says revenge builds a lonely house space enough for one person the lives of its tenants are reduced to one goal to make someone miserable and they do they make themselves miserable no wonder God insists that we keep a sharp eye out for weeds of bitter discontentment a thistle or two gone to seed can ruin a whole garden in no time, says Hebrews 12:15. His healing includes a move out of the house of spite, a shift away from the cramped world of grudge and towards spacious ways of grace, away from hardness and toward forgiveness. He moves us forward by healing our past. Can he really? This mess, this history of sexual abuse, this raw anger at the father who left my mother, this seething disgust I feel every time I think of the one who treated me like yesterday's trash. Can God heal this ancient hurt in my heart? And you know, Joseph did that with his brothers. He gave them a taste of their own medicine. Uh, we read that on page uh, 113, how um, Joseph gave them a taste of his own medicine. He um, um, commandeered them. He held them in prison. He sent them away. He falsely accused them. He denied them of their freedom the same way that um, he was denied the freedom by them. And um, we're going to discuss later in later chapters about forgiveness. We need to be thinking about who in our lives needs to be forgiven because it is a true route for the enemy to put bitterness um, in our heart. It says um, in Ephesians 4.26, don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, it says in Ephesians 4.31. As Christ forgave you, so you must also do, Colossians 3.13. And we think, really God? And we'll discuss that in the next video. God bless, take care, and have a great day.